So here we go. After a disastrous night at the Glam Awards, after him disappearing for an hour and a half, after I'm so angry at his bizarre behavior, I leave the club at 1.30 a.m. I pass him at the bar. I get home and text him to see if he got home okay. And the next thing I see is a barrage of nasty texts. Here we go. Girl, you need to understand that this is me. I am the person who has almost been institutionalized five times. You cannot write my script for me. 2 a.m., another one. That's it, girl. I've had it. I'm taking a taxi to your house. It only takes 15 or 20 minutes. I'm like, fuck. He's crazy. 2.10. I have work. I can't come up now. Girl, I was need to tell you something. I was absolutely disgraced by our behavior at the Glam Awards last night. I like to meet men when I'm out. I like to meet men when I'm in an atmosphere like that. And if you can't handle that form of networking, let me just remind you, girl, being one of your gay husbands is just a big, campy joke. Whoa. I have to digress here a little bit, so every, you know, because my boys are over here. Every, I have five gay husbands. Now I have four because you know what? I've divorced this one. Let me, let me just get back to this. Okay. Next I is. I know who it is. Yeah, we do know who it is, and it's fine. I'm outing. He's not here. I, yeah, he's not here, and I'm outing him tonight. He's not here because he took down his fucking Facebook pages. Bitch. Who cares? Okay. But let me go on. Next is all caps. I am a gay man and I am sick of being a gay husband. I work on myself and you don't think you need to do that and it's just so untrue. Yes, I know you do a lot of charity work and I know you do a lot of events, but it all boils down to how much pressure is on you to get events done and how much you succeeded and how much the event was a success and at least five or six mentions about you, 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 you and how you made it a success. She was clearly out of control at this point. You have auditions and bookings a couple of days a week and then the rest is just a gym throwing parties, going clubbing, and yelling at your husband, Alan. As a matter of fact, all you do is yell at him and run around and do passion projects. He's just taken my life and put it into, like, nothingness. I have no gym. I have no yoga. I work 50 to 60 hours a week, honey. If you want to work with me, it's time to get off my back. I told you 5,000 times I don't want any of our acting projects to be in a club. No club nights ever. That was all caps. I've said it every time we're at a club, but I won't say it again because it's something you want to do. If I told you my leg was cut off and bleeding, you'd say, can we go dancing? <laughs> and that's true. <laughs> but you just keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and ignoring and ignoring and ignoring. If you are interested in working with me on any upcoming projects, fine, if not fine. At the end of all of this, it just comes down. Oops, hold on. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, shoot. It just comes down to one thing. I should have this memorized. Where's my page? Hey, just bear with me. Okay, is it in the back? Thank you. You're the best audience ever. You're finding um, my pages. Okay, but I know this by heart anyway. Um, here we go. It just boils down to one thing. How I feel about you and how you feel ab whoops, how you feel about me. You are rich compared to me. Okay, this is such bullshit. You are not middle class, but a socialite. Bullshit. I'm working class. Either I don't get you or you don't get me. Either way, I have to make money. Every time I say my friends are behind me, you rake in with nobody more than me. So this bitch attacked me for being fucking supportive, okay? That's shitty. I will not take on another project from you until further notice. That was all big caps. I love you more than anyone. Check in whenever you want. I love you. This is real love. Learn it. People who yes you to death are full of shit. I'll wait to hear from you, but you won't hear from me. So I wake up at 5.30 in the morning, another text. I love you. I want things back to when we were best friends. <laughs> Fucking crazy queen. I'd love to see a movie with you if you can take it in and digest it. Well, that was three weeks ago, and I never heard from Michael again. Game over. Thank you. Thank you. I feel so good. You know, so Chelsea, you know who I was talking about, and I thought I'd like to.
break down and cry, and I didn't because all of you made me feel the vibes in this room are fabulous. Yeah. Yeah.